Welcome viewers to Soft Demi, a project control and engineering software academy. Today I come up with a new content. Uh, that content is based on a Gantt chart creation in Excel from start dates and finish dates and activity names and activity IDs from Primavera P6 or any other tool. I will show you from Primavera P6 you can use that one to any other tool but the formatting should be like Primavera P6 and also the Gantt chart creation will be based on your start and finish dates. I will go here in my Primavera P6 you can see here like my uh, project here. This is my project so I want to create uh, a similar project in my Excel. So how can I will create? I will just uh, use my only uh, four columns and that columns will be uh, activity ID, activity name, original duration, start, finish, total float will be not needed to create that, create that complete Gantt chart. To do that one, I will go in my browser and in my browser, I will just go on my site softydemy.com. Also, you can go here in softydemy. Uh, Google and you can search our site you will find out our site and then you can see here also our tools here uh, comparison report XR tool comparison dashboard XR tool I will go here in the blog you will find out the link of the video uh, and the link of the blog at your uh, description of this video so I will just go here convert primary p6 schedule to Excel and then I will click over and the XER to XLSX Gantt chart converter tool. So whenever you click this one, you will be downloaded. You will be have a download here. So here you will be find out XER to XLSX Gantt chart tool. So you will see here the columns arrangement like activity ID, activity name, original duration, start and finish. So whenever you will extract this file, you will see here you have to right click here and uh, whenever you go here XR file right click here and extract to XR tool yes to all and then XR to XLS tool right click here in properties you have to unblock the macros apply ok then you have to click and open XR as XLSX tool. So now I will just go here and I will copy my activity ID, activity name, original duration, start and finish. Also, you can create a report visit. As I told you in my previous video, you can create a report visit like activities if you want. And if you want to create uh, activities and group and sort, if it's your choice, what activity uh, needed here. And columns, you will add here activity ID, activity name, and then your durations, then you will create a run report and then you have to create a, their XLS file from here. So this is another option to create your Excel file, but I will go here and copy this data by control A, control C, this one is very easy. And I will go here in my tool and I will just paste here all the files and all the data here and I will just remove this one first row. And now whenever I will click on create Gantt chart. So there will be a notification appear. Did you copy and paste from P6 to this sheet? If yes, then click start. Otherwise click cancel and copy first. Make sure you copied activity ID, activity name, duration, start, finish. For more information, you can contact us at our site www.softedemy.com. Whenever I will click on start, the file will be start generating. So it will completely generate over all the activities here, which have been shown here. So here you can see here, this schedule have a lot of activities like project. You can see here 1812, 1812. So all these have been created now. I will go here and layout open, no save apply, okay. So you can see here, all the 1800 and activity have been plotted here in my schedule. So the activities are not appearing, why it's not appearing because it's also grouped in uh, Excel sheet. Like I, when I will click on number eight, so you will see here all the WBS level will be shown here. When you click on seven, 
only up to seven WBS level it will be shown here. So you can see here also with coloring of WBS by creating a Gantt chart and with also grouping have been created with this Excel formatting tool. And also you can see here a uh, conditional formatting have been applied in your schedule. Like uh, for example, you can see here, for example, this activity have to be uh, started on 30 of April 2023. So we'll go here in 30 of April 2023. You will go here for the, which activity was there. Like I will see here 19 April. So I will go here in one month ahead, 19 April. Here you can see here 19 April. So for example, this one is uh, 13 April, 4 April. You can see here activity have been planned from 4 April to 13 April. So you can see here there is a no error in my Excel sheet. So you can see here all this one is 11 April to 13 April. So the file have been created on the based of your start and finish dates. So this is my today's content. How can you create your Gantt chart with Gantt chart with same Primavera P6 formatting by creating a grouping like WBS levels like this one, four, five. You can see here WBS levels have been created from this one. How can you create this one? You can use our XZR to XLSX formatting tool and you can copy your data from your Primavera P6. Thanks for watching Softy Demi. You can contact us through WhatsApp icon. You can write anything here and you can connect your WhatsApp web here by just scanning the QR code. Also, you can email us on info at the rate of softydemi.com. Also, our WhatsApp number, the link have been given in the description of this video. Also, the tools blog link have been given in the description of this video. Thanks for watching Softy Demi. You can get the subscription of this video if you are a good user and if you are our previous user, we will give you some discounts. On this one, our comparison report XZR tool and XZR dashboard XZR tool. So thanks for watching Softy Demi. We will meet in the next video.